We are hardcore into the Christmas season. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Yep, that's right. So we are going to be doing a dessert that you guys voted on. We chose, what was it? It was gingerbread men, Christmas cookies, Yule log, and this one right here, eggnog bread with a rum glaze. And most of you on YouTube who voted, voted for the eggnog bread uh, number one, Yule log number two. So we're gonna do number one and number two. I hope to do Yule log in the next video. A lot of you are like, I don't know what Yule log is, but it sounds interesting. Yes, it is. It's very interesting. It's been around for a long time and it should be fun to do. This one right now though is what we're doing. Come on in close. Let's get our eggnog on. Okay, it's all been measured out, but let me go over all the ingredients. We have our nutmeg. We have our Jello. It's French vanilla Jello. We're using one packet. We have sugar, eggnog, of course, all-purpose flour, butter at room temperature, two eggs at room temperature. I always try to get my eggs at room temperature too. It just works better. Got a little bit of salt, some baking powder. I've got this is you can't even see it. It's clear, but just a little bit. It's like a teaspoon and and a half of uh, spiced rum. And then you have vanilla extract. And that's it. If you don't want to use this little drop of alcohol, leave it out and replace it with a juice, like a pineapple juice or something like that, to give the bread still, because we're putting the same thing, putting a drop in the frosting. So if you don't want to use alcohol, use fruit juice to replace the alcohol, and it will be just as wonderful. Make sure the oven's preheated at 350, and mine is. And make sure you've already sprayed a, I'm using a silicone bread pan. If you're using mini loaves, that's fine. If you're doing a bread pan, but make sure you do a nonstick spray. Let that sit for a little bit. All right, now we're going to mix all our wet ingredients. Got our butter at room temperature. You don't have to melt it. Just drop that in there, that's half a cup. Put your two eggs in there. I know, you're like, Jack, I can't believe you're cracking it. You're risking getting shells. Yeah, I'm too lazy. The less I have to wash, the better. I already have all these ingredient bowls to wash. So why create more for me, right? Put our sugar in there. Put our little drop of rum. Watch how little, ready? That's it. A little vanilla extract. The eggnog, put it in there. We're gonna slowly stir it in. Perfect. Okay, now the butter's gonna look clumpy. Don't worry, the butter will always look clumpy in this recipe until you get in the oven and it will melt, okay? We're gonna put our flour in here. Now it says to sift all your dry ingredients. You can do that or there's the flour, that's the baking uh, powder. There's the salt, make sure it all comes out. Or you can just take a whisk to it. That's what I'm doing. Let's get everything in there first. Here's the nutmeg, here's the jello, pour that all in there. Just grab a whisk and gently just kind of mix it up. You're just trying to break up any clumpiness and you want a finer flour. Once it's incorporated, just stop, okay? You don't want to go in too fast, but you also don't want to leave it on too long. Some of my favorite baking cookware is the silicone cookware. I love it. If you guys want to check out the silicone cookware that I use, there'll be a link down below. I've got muffin pans and everything. Just get that all into the, into the bread bowl. It's not the best camera angle, but I want to make sure it gets in. I don't want to waste any. We're going to get this in the oven right now. And there it is, guys. Did the toothpick test. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna tip it just a little bit. You can see the butter still oozing on top. We let that cool. All right, so here we go. We've got confectionery sugar or powdered sugar, however you wanna call it. A Little bit of nutmeg, a little bit more rum, and a little bit of eggnog. So let's put the sugar in first. A Little bit of nutmeg in there. your egg done. You're wrong. And just mix it up. 
be patient. That's what it should look like right there. Almost like a, a frosting. Now it's time to top this off. And there it is, eggnog bread with a rum glaze on top. Look at that, look how moist that is. Okay, now what I'm trying to explain to you by moist is the inside is still like, like wet, like a banana nut bread, but I would even say more uh, buttery. And I'm guessing all that butter is what's keeping it that way. Let me just take a piece here and try it. Mm. Oh my goodness. All right. So I need to back away from this. This is the die for. Thank you for voting this one number one out of all the Christmas desserts. Yule Log is coming up on the next episode. You guys, I hope you're having a very Merry Christmas. Stay safe, love each other, and I'll see you on the next episode. This is amazing. Try it. So this is all measured out and laid out. Well, almost all of it is. Um, no, it all is. <laughs> Take 300. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is plug it in. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, that wasn't cool.